Hello there. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with more Star Wars Blade Builders. Guys, this is a very unique piece. This is brand new. I don't know if we were calling it Force Friday 2018, but all the new solo merchandise is supposedly hitting stores Friday the 13th, April 2018, Friday the 13th. I found this on a pallet at a Walmart during my Force Friday searching, my little midnight late night searching. This is new. This is the first Blade Builders toy accessory to not have a lightsaber included. There's no lightsaber in this box. What this is, this is the electronic riot baton. You might remember this from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Uh, Traitor TR8TR. He has this and he does this little thing and he's the one who yells traitor to Finn. And let's just get into it. Let's take a look at the outside of the box. This is, this is going to be unique and interesting. It's the first time... They've done this with Blade Builders. All right, guys, there it is. Star Wars red logo. So it's kind of weird that it's got the Last Jedi logo on it, or at least uh, somewhat of the artwork. I don't see the crystals anywhere, but it is the red and white packaging instead of yellow like the Solo, but it does say flick to open. There you go. Here's the actual baton itself. There you go. Blade Builders. Look at that guy. He looks serious. That is so cool looking. And it's got this little claw thing, little attachment at the bottom. There's our button right there. So if I hit the button, what happens? Oh, it drops. Oh, oh, spoilers, spoilers. Okay, okay, we'll put you away. We'll put you away. Electronic Riot Baton says it in a bunch of different languages. This is part of the Blade Builders line, which means you can attach it to other lightsabers. Two double A's are required and included. Demo batteries, at least. Disney Hasbro. What's on the side there? More troopers. I like it. <gasps> what does that say? Zero to three. Sad babies, approve of this toy, approve of them making a different kind of blade builder. It says it is a electronic riot baton. There it is. It goes 16.8 inches length. That's pretty good. It does come with this little thing called the attack claws, that bottom piece. It says flick to open. Very nice. You can combine them. The little attack claw can attach to the bottom by screwing on. And then it gives you some options for some other lightsabers. It says riot baton, Jedi Knight lightsaber. Path of the Force lightsaber, and then it says Ray Island Journey. I didn't know there was an Island Journey lightsaber. And then it gives you a couple options on how to attach different things, particularly to this baton. That is, that's kind of interesting. I wouldn't, I don't know how they would do that. Uh, what do we got here though? It does say combine. With, oh, there's more instructions on how to combine other things. Okay. Oh, there's two spots to combine it. That's interesting. A little okay. We'll we'll get into that in a second. I think we've seen the whole entirety of the box. All right, my friends, time to get this thing going. Now, I had not heard of this. This was a complete surprise to me. I didn't even know this was going to be available. I happened to be looking at the pallets at Walmart when they had set them out. The lady had just walked out the pallet and set it out. So I was that guy. I went. I opened the box. And I ran and took it to the register as soon as possible, and I didn't look back. I said, you know what? I want to be among the first to buy this, to get it home, to review it for you guys, my sad baby squad. Okay, enough. Enough of that. How do I get this thing out? That's what I'm trying to figure out. How do I get it out? Okay. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I tried pulling it out and it didn't come out. And I don't know if it's because the box got a little squished or what, but it's, um, oh, it's on there. Oh, what is this? There's paperwork in here. A little booklet. A little booklet. Tells you how to do things. How do I, uh, how do I do this? Oh, there's a little flappy right here. Pull up the flappy. Pull up the flappy. Oh, there we go. That's way better. Okay. Okay. Anything else in here? No, that's it, empty box. You gently can be thrown off to the side. I've got an exacto, so that means I can use this to cut these little things off. Boom, there's our weird little claw. I forget what they call it. They call it something like a claw, right? Uh, what else we got here? What else we got here? Okay, we're looking pretty good so far. Oh, that? oh there's another one there. So, kids, if you're buying this, you are going to need your parents' help to get some of this stuff off. Okay, we're down to one last little piece. So funny, they use these plastic ties for everything, except for one. Now, guys, as I'm unboxing this, I will mention 
there may not be an Amazon link right off the bat within the first few days of this video coming out because I was looking on Amazon earlier and I didn't see this anywhere. I will put like a generic link to my uh, Amazon store which has a bunch of other Blade Builder stuff. But if you're watching this April of 2018 or before um, the Han Solo movie comes out because that's around when all this new merch came out, then there may not be a link, but if it's after that, hopefully, I will have remembered to come back, remember to add a link, so if you guys purchase this thing on Amazon, I can get some credit for it, because that is how I buy all the stuff, is I use Amazon links, I use the money that I make from the ad revenue, from the ads that play before my videos, uh, so if you don't skip them or whatever, like if you watch the whole ad, that money that I make from that, I pour back into the channel, and that's how I buy all the stuff. So, it's appreciated if you're an Amazon shopper and you start out on my links. You don't have to buy that particular toy. You can buy anything. But if you are an Amazon shopper and you use my links, I get credit for it, and I make a small commission. doesn't cost you anything extra, and it's much appreciated. So, you ready? You guys, I mean, it says to flick it. Like, oh, I didn't, I didn't even hit the button. Okay, and now it's in demo mode, actually. I'm gonna put it in regular mode. Let me okay. Let me get the instructions out. Right. Try me. So there is switch to one. Wait, moves from one to two to activate full range of features. So it is on two. One would be demo. It's just to open. Hold button and swing arm to extend the prongs. Okay. To close, manually push the prongs down. Oh, and it just turns right off. So. I don't even have to hold the button, it just kind of does its thing. I... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. This thing is awesome. I'm sorry, I really like this thing. Okay. And I like that when you close it, it turns them off. Okay, no smacking. Oh, even if I hit the button, it does not turn it on unless I do the full, like... Remember, like you didn't. I'm, I want to do it, but I don't want to knock anything over. Ugh, I can't even. Boom! And he's like ready to roll. He's like, let's do this. That is. Dude, this thing is crazy. Okay, so we have the claw also. Okay, I'm going to turn you off. I don't want you to be too loud. But there's that little claw at the bottom. Now I can orient it that way, or I can unscrew it. And I can put it in that way so it's kind of at the bottom. Either way, though. Wait. I gotta hold the button. Boom. I like this. I I like this a lot. I wanna show you guys close-ups what it looks like. This this thing is I'm pleased. You know, I'm really pleased that they've done something different. Oh my goodness, something different. It just goes so far in my book when I see something different. Let's take a look at the close-ups, like I was saying. So, there's the edge of the baton. There's, if I hit my button, that's my little button right there. It doesn't do anything. I'm going to remove this sticker because I don't like these stickers. I feel like it takes away from the toy. So I'm actually going to remove that while doing these close-ups right now. Again, you should probably read the warning. It says, do not poke or jab at people or animals and use away from breakable objects. But I like to rip that off because I like a clean looking toy. This piece right here is just an attachment so you can attach that to the bottom of a lightsaber if you want this is just an extra little accessory just to look cool which we've only seen twice before in this set the, this thing is just to look cool it doesn't do anything and then this thing is also ooh, just to look cool it doesn't do anything this one looks cool but it's a blaster so I don't count that accessory but all these other like these are like weird attachments that don't actually do anything just like this it's just for looks but, I mean, just look at this. How cool is that? And again, there's my little, my little on switch. If you go from one, it's in demo mode. Zero is off, and two is full functioning mode. Very cool, very, uh, you wanna see this thing in action? So I'm gonna hold the button down, right? I'm gonna push the button down, and I'm gonna flick. And it lights up. And it flashes. I... I really like this thing. I think this thing is awesome. Just look at this thing. It is... This thing is... It's cool. It's... It's... 
This is perfect for blade builders. This is literally what blade builders is for. So you can fight with your friends. I, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I like what they did. I really like what. They, and then to, to turn it off again. To turn it off. Boom, and it turns it right off. Yeah, Hasbro. Can we get more of this, please, guys? I, I want to know your thoughts. For me, this is a big thumbs up. To me, this is a. I would thumbs up this video. I would rate this a big thumbs up. Um, I don't think, I mean, we're all kind of Blade Builders experts at this point. I do want to show you something, though. I do want to show you a little something. We'll use this piece. So, on the bottom of the baton piece, there is an adapter. I could put that there. There's also a different kind of end here, so I can attach this to something else as well. I can even put another lightsaber on the end there. I can have like a lightsaber plopping out this way. Be like, there you go, lightsaber right there. And then if I want... I can hit the button, and I can do both, and this is just insane. This is, what, <laughs> what? This is what Blade Builders is crazy. There we go, oops, I didn't mean to close them both down, but you can, you can do this kind of stuff. This is what you can do with Blade Builders, is there's just all kinds of neat stuff you can do. I mean, I can put this attachment here, let's do, let's do this attachment. Officially a Dano Channel video. Nobody can complain that it wasn't official. Uh, <laughs> because I knocked a bunch of stuff over. This doesn't work that way. Either way, you guys know what I'm talking about. You get this. You understand how this thing works. This is, like I said, it's insanity. It's insanity. Put a lightsaber there. We'll put a, we'll put the claw back on down here. Boom. Boom. Who wants another lightsaber? Let's let's do this. I don't even have the right adapters or pieces on me. But this is the crazy stuff you can make with blade builders. Oh. Oh, almost lost an arm. Almost lost an arm. Almost knocked something else over. Guys, too much stuff in here. Too much fun. I love I love this. You can orient it that way, or I can orient it the other way at the bottom. I, I like I said, I give it a thumbs up. I want to know your guys' thoughts. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whichever. Do that to the video. If you like the toy, thumbs up the video. If you don't like the toy, thumbs down the video. If you want to see more lightsabers instead of stuff like this, thumbs down the video. But you got to tell me in the comment section why. I want to know why you thumbs down. I also want to know why you thumbs up. I just want to know everybody's opinion. Because it's not, I mean, it's called the Daniel Channel, sure. But your guys' opinion matters just as much as mine does. So please feel free to leave it down in the comments below. I love hearing them. I usually try to read all of them. What, what am I missing here? Oh, I, I can you guys do me a big favor? Can you share these videos? If you guys watch my videos, you're part of the Sad Baby Squad, can you just like go to your social media, Twitter, Instagram, whoever? Tell people about the Sad Baby Squad. You don't know about the Sad Baby Squad? Okay, this is what you got to do. You got to subscribe to the Dano channel, first off. That's rule number one. If you're subscribed, you got to use the force on that little bell. That way you get notified whenever I put out a brand new video, right? Now, those people who get the notifications, they try to show up as soon as they can. It's cool if you don't make it right away, but, you know, you try to show up. They're a positive part of my community. Here on the Dano channel, we've got people who help out. A lot of people who give their opinions on the same toys that I look at. They point out stuff that I missed. They answer questions for other people. They're a positive part of the community. That is my sad baby squad. In reference to the zero to three sad babies that approve of the toy, right? That's the sad baby squad. My number one's the people who come and are a good, positive part of the community. I want you to be a part of the Sad Baby Squad, too. I mean, actually, I'm thinking about getting some stickers made and maybe giving them out here and there. Uh, is this something you're into? Let me know. But I want your opinions. I want you to join the squad. I want you to be part of the video. So if you're part of the Sad Baby Squad, use... Something else got knocked over. Use hashtag Sad Baby Squad or at me on Instagram or Twitter, at Dano Flores. There's a little text down below. You can tell exactly how to write that out. And I want to feature you in little clips or your artwork, your fan art, whatever, on here on the channel. So please, send me those. Send them my way. Uh, and I think that's it. Also, I want you guys to end my video. So if you want to end the video, I have a catchphrase that I say at the end of every video. And this is it. May the Force have with you. <laughs> Goodbye forever.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already, subscribe. Join the Sad Baby Squad. Hit me up with your own clips, videos, whatever you guys are into. Fan artwork. I also have shirts and stuff available for sale. Hit those little links down below if you're at all interested. And that's it. Go watch another vid.